what's up guys welcome back to my channel i'm stardust and so are you so i'm actually going to pause this for a second and try to really stay with this energy that i'm getting and i'll be right back so yeah i just like to stay in the energy real quick before i lose it but what i was getting is that someone has a strong ass intuition here very strong maybe somebody holds back some of the things that they know especially when it comes to like you know a toxic situation or some type of toxic relationship here someone could be heavily heavily focused on their material and spiritual prosperity uh this is possibly all this person thinks about is maybe you know being bound and i don't know it's like this is like a good energy and a bad energy i don't know it's weird because i'm kind of like this you know i feel like i'm heavily focused on my soul's growth <laughs> And my spiritual like abundance you know and like getting right with God and being right with God or whatever but it can I'm a Pisces so we kind of lean into the spiritual world like really heavily so you could be like this or someone could be like this you know um I know Scorpios tend to have that energy as well but yeah someone too um is bound to their mystic my, their material spiritual prosperity this person possibly is really heavily focused on their material spiritual prosperity and the mind here um but also i get that somebody is aware of some type of toxicity the level of toxicity um in their intuition also someone could be you know uh enlightened about um a spiritual connection here that could be toxic as well Someone could be, uh, you know, this connection could be ruled by this double energy here. I hate to, like, I know I'm not supposed to show the nudity, so. Yeah. Oh, oh oops. Sorry, <laughs> guys. It is. But, yeah. Um. Don't let anyone think you're stupid, bro. Like, you're in someone's intuition, like, knows something here. Someone's very aware. Do you know this freaking card actually came to me in a dream once? It was the most vividest, scariest dream that I've ha ever ha probably had in a while. But I'll, t I'll do a story time one day and talk about this card. And I still don't know what the dream meant. But, my God, the dream was intense and so vivid. But, um... Someone definitely has a strong intuition and are possibly holding back something that they know as well. Like, it's, I'm getting this energy, too, of, like, a demon slayer, you know? Um, it's like, you know, this spiritual warrior has this intuition, right? And they, they probably can slay or kill somebody with their intuition, right? Or with their facts and their receipts. But they're, like, little spirit guide that they use to channel this energy or whatever they're like down boy not now not yet you know like like someone is strong here strong enough to defeat the devil here with their intuition like this person could intuitively already know the devil's next move you know i love this energy right here but uh, in the communication, I definitely feel like someone is seeing something from a different perspective when it comes to their material harvest. Maybe the, how they communicate about their finances, how they uh, maintain their finances, and also how they grow their finances. Someone could be trying to see this from a different perspective. Someone could be gaining intuitive knowledge as well on how to do these things. This is very spiritual reading here. Someone's fully tapped into, uh, you know, spirit and God and their ancestors right now. This person, someone's getting direct communication from the universe and their spirit guides and their ancestors right now on their commu uh, their communication here, how to, you know, grow their finances or, or maybe some finances that's coming in about a cycle that's completed here or starting. Uh, cause also, I feel like in this heart energy, I, I feel like someone has some type of awareness here about uh, a choice or a lover or a decision they have to make between maybe two lovers or this partnership here. Someone could be seeing a connection from a different perspective as well. It could be this toxic relationship here.
you know, maybe there's good days to this relationship and then there's days like this, you know, devil energy here. Every relationship is like this, but someone could be, this could be a third party situation here. I feel like someone is being deceptive. Someone could be secretly moving on as well. Someone could be making the choice or decision to secretly move on. Someone really thinks they're getting away with something here. I love this guy's face all the time. Like, it's so crazy. How he's looking back at this woman. Someone could be really balanced and they have memories of love with this person. Someone has a lot of nostalgia when it comes to this person as well. Yeah, there's a major transformation. There's so major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana, major arcana. There's so much transformation happening here because someone is seeing something from a different perspective. And the reason why they're seeing it is because they have some type of divine awareness. Someone could have possibly been mentally stuck, mentally blocked, blinded to the truth, blinded to their awareness here. Carrying a lot of burdens and someone's putting their burdens down here, coming out of this energy. Maybe someone had a dream about something as well that's also helped them and become enlightened. Someone could definitely have like negative energy surrounding them here. But whatever it is, I feel like someone is super strong. Like, but someone is, you know, connected to like a something as evil or bad or bad you know this could be a sex addiction a drug addiction here yeah I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to get into this energy because I don't know if someone here is a thief. Like, or, you know, um, this could be even like, you know, man. Yeah, like nasty intentions here. Let's see. I got a gold digger. Only want, what the, only want you for what you provide or bring to the table. Money motivated. Yeah. And this is what I was getting here. Money motivated using you for money. Someone could here be using someone for money here. This could be, uh, you know, this connection is material, spiritual uh, connection. It's right under this energy here. It says, I'm a fucked up person. Nasty intention, stealing, thief, run for real. Don't trust me. That's crazy. So let's see what's going on with the Seven of Swords. I need to know. Ooh, 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 ooh. These two cards only? Look. Beer muscles, liquid courage, drunk texts are calling you. Scared of rejection, playing on your phone, wants to hear your voice when drinking. Lacks confident, private block, hang up fast. Um, what's this one? Someone could possibly want to dominate and control you, but you'll like it. Um, you could be protective over someone if someone's protective over you. Someone is, uh, you know, I'm not really getting that in this reading now. Let's say, ooh, yeah, someone could definitely have a spicy, feisty personality. They talk back. Someone likes when you're pissed off or mad, especially if you come off as a strong communicator or just a strong spirit I'm getting. Someone has a really strong spirit. Yeah, 
someone's seeing something through their their mind's eye, bro. They're getting some type of uh, awareness here, and it's making them possibly want to move on and put something in the past and like just have memories of love, you know. I got a Gemini here, Capricorn. I got a Pisces. I have a a Leo here. Mostly all the signs are here, but those are the major energies. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. This Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, Leo. I feel like someone definitely has a strong intuition again. Someone is trying to balance something out here. Maybe there's opposing energies. Someone can be very uh, passionate here. Someone's receiving messages, bro, through their heart. Like, someone is like, man, coming out of this stuck energy here. Yeah. Someone is seeing their heart heartbreak from a different perspective, bro. And when that happens, it's dangerous. Like, in a good way. You feel me? Like, this is strength. When someone starts to see, like, their heartbreak and what they've gone through in a different perspective, this is what, this is what breakthroughs, I feel like this is where the word breakthrough came from. You know? When you start to look at the, the lemons and the fucking grossness that you've been dealt with in life, and you start to do this reflect on yourself and go within look at yourself hold a mirror up to yourself you know and and hold a mirror up to that person whoever's done you dirty whatever it is when you start to see that that's when your material i literally probably just had this conversation with a family member like an hour ago but yeah someone's heart could be protected But yeah, someone's getting some type of awareness here, and it's it's powerful. It's possibly causing some type of change and transformation. They're left to change as well. Maybe they're coming out of some type of lack mentality. This is Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Taurus energy turning into the King of Pentacles. Whether you're a man or a woman, I'm gonna pause this, guys, and get a different spread here, okay? So yeah, guys. I wanted to stay with these energies here. Um, I'm going to keep pulling cards, but I wanted to stay with this energy here because I had to go to my um, my Sacred Rebels deck and um, talk about these energies here. They seem very powerful and very meaningful to, you know, whatever cycles are being completed, especially if you're seeing something from a different perspective, whether you're seeing someone else, seeing yourself from a different perspective, you have to release you know, the energies of your old, old versions of yourself and also the old versions of how people see you as well. You're not the same person that you once were and you don't have to live up to, to that energy. You don't have to live up to anything. You don't have to prove that you changed or anything or you're different somehow. Um, as long as you see the true you, that's all that matters. And collaborating with like-minded individuals that understand your growth and that can just naturally see it through their, their mind's eye is what really matters here. But um, any outdated frequencies that you've let attach themselves to you, um, it's time to really start seeing those energies from a different perspective as well. Whether they're addictions, whether there's addictions to people, codependency on people, or allowing people to be codependent on you as well. Um, it's time to release those energies here. And also, you know, see, you know, yourself outside of this person and outside of these energies here. Even if this is family, friends, you know, uh, things like that. It's time you start reflecting on you. Someone could be doing this energy work, but also, you know, yeah, like I said, I always say this, you know, um, 
spiritual growth is all about self-reflecting and being 100 100 with yourself and 100 with god and the truth is ugly the truth hurts the truth stings it burns it pokes it, it like you know it, like it's everything you know but at the end of the day you know um seeing the true you is it's what's going to allow you to feel balanced within yourself what's going to allow you to collaborate with you not only your lower self your present self and your higher self all of those aspects of yourself matter all of those aspects of yourself uh make up who you are you know and it allows you to see who you are um, um it also allows you to release you know past versions of yourself that you thought were you you know once you identify why you do certain things why you react a certain way you know your low vibrational side your present side your higher self side all of those aspects of yourself matter for a reason and it once you get to know all three of those sides of yourself um it allows you to identify why you move a certain way or why you hold on to things or you let things gravitate towards you and you can study them better you know once you know all these parts of yourself you can study yourself better to help release and detach from certain things here so see yourself all aspects of yourself um not just the the face that people tell you that you are or the, the stuff that you hear in your mind about yourself um, try to release those energies here I know the mind could be a really crazy case lying to yourself things like that and like I said guys like I'm walking this journey with everybody on this channel um I'm on the spiritual journey we all are whether we know it or not like it's literally a, a roller coaster and it's a spiritual roller coaster um and we're all on it we all signed up to get on this ride so i'm doing this with you guys and i feel like once you release these allegiances here you're going to have some type of new beginning that's long term here maybe there's long term abundance within yourself um you could possibly be seeing you know how many obstacles and burdens that you've been putting on yourself um Once you release, you know, these allegiances, you could also be uh, seeing that, you know, these obstacles and challenges only lead to new beginnings. You know, it's like, I don't know if you guys ever seen like that painting where uh, this guy is like thrown in a ditch, right? Like he has no way out, but he has like a bunch of like sticks you know and then you release the worry and the doubt and not seeing things clearly and you get an idea a new beginning a new idea as well something long term to do something with these sticks which is make a ladder <laughs> you know you've been stuck in this ditch well all of these sticks think looking at them as obstacles and challenges just focused on you know being in this ditch not realizing these 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 obstacles and challenges aka these sticks can be used to build a ladder to get yourself out here and all you needed to do was see yourself for you know you see yourself in this higher form instead of seeing yourself in this lower energy here I feel like someone could benefit from being around water, possibly a beach. Um, someone could also have a connection to the forest <laughs> or the woods here as well for a good way to release energy. Um, I know I resonate when I try to release energy. I, I gravitate towards more the beach scene, water, bodies of water. Um, someone could resonate with going into the forest and, and into the woods. Excuse me. <clears throat> Uh, to do this type of releasing energy here so someone could be coming off you know emotionally detached you know not using their intuition you know just being in the down in the dumps I get it feeling bad for yourself wanting to cling on to your negative attachments and woe is me you know the dark space it's comfortable there it's it's 
there's ice cream and there's sad songs and there's there's nobody cares about me energy you know it's all of that energy that we all know so well it's very comfortable there so um but try to collaborate here with your higher self your present self and you know um your lower self even if your present self just so happens to be your lower self <laughs> you get what i'm saying here yeah someone could be coming out of reflecting here i've been seeing this energy as well I, I know a lot of us that's been on this spiritual journey we've been in hermit mode for probably about like six five years now i know my awakening kind of started my i'm not even gonna call it that but my df awakening uh kind of happened in 2012 was it 2012 yes yes um so man it's been a journey it's 2023 <laughs> now it's 2024 so um it's been a journey and um a lot of growth has happened and you need to start seeing yourself in that energy the energy of growth and the energy of um you know that you are able to collaborate with others come out of hermit mode um you have emotions to share you have communication to share you have your intuition to share you have your love and your nurturing to share and like i said about these obstacles and challenges you also have that to share um obstacles and challenges can be used as tools like i said you know you think you just fell in this ditch and the 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 bridge broke but you can also use all of these, you know, wooden sticks from this bridge breaking to help rebuild a new bridge is what I'm saying here. Um, and also use these obstacles and challenges to teach other people the way out here of these emotions here. Um, and dream, you know, um, even if you don't see yourself out of these uh, energies here now, it's okay to dream and, and, and manifest it into, uh, into fruition here as well. So let's see. Smile, laugh, wow. So when is the last time your stomach hurt it from a laugh? Think about it. Think about that last time, you know, that you had a really gut bust and laugh to where your stomach was like literally hurting and try to recreate that moment. Even if you can't, like just really sit and kind of like reminisce on that moment for a second because it might make you laugh. It might make you smile. I feel like someone has um, a nice smile or a nice laugh or a great laugh or like one of those you ever have, meet one of those people that have like an infectious laugh, you laugh. Or hear someone laugh and then it ought to makes you start laughing you don't know what the hell they're laughing about but because their laugh is so infectious or magnetic or funny like someone could have a funny laugh it makes you laugh but yeah uh smile your spirit guides and your ancestors could want you to smile and know that your ancestors and spirit guides i'm watching i'm watching you and listening to you don't you dare for a second think that I'm not with you always and forever. I wanted to leave this message as well in the, um, I think it was a dream reading that I, I did. But this could be coming from a loved a loved one here, a soul tribe member, someone that you're connected to in the spirit realm. Um, I'm getting that with the collaborative dreaming. This could be someone that you've been dreaming about as well maybe a mother figure or you know a sister here or a partner they're just giving you a heads up that you know uh they're with you wow so something you said stays on my mind someone could be replaying an old conversation rereading text messages this is good memories someone's had a slight epiphany as well you could have triggered someone from for the better Someone could be trying something your way and you know, they want to give you a thank you. Someone knows more about a situation now because of you. Also, maybe this intuition. Someone, and I was getting that in the first spread that someone's intuition has grown here. And maybe they want to give you some type of shout out. Like, because someone's intuition is popping. 
<laughs> and the first spread. And they have some, and they're seeing something from a different perspective here. And it's probably because of you. Maybe they're seeing, you know, maybe their partner from a different perspective. Um, you know, uh, if this partner was toxic and codependent on them as well. So, yeah, someone could definitely need to go to their spirit guides and their ancestors here when it comes to, like, you know, um, a lot of things. I feel like spirit would like to talk to you. Yeah, there's a lot of energy here. And I'm just going to end it there, guys. And I hope it resonated. I know it's kind of like all over the place. I like kind of like freestyling that way. Um, I never know what I'm going to get. And I like it that way. <laughs> so I, I wasn't even expecting to go with um, these cards either. And it just. I always say, oh, I'm done. And then. <laughs> Second mind, major booty sign. Let's see. Yeah. Someone could be trapped in fear here about a spiritual union that's changing here. And they have some awareness to it. But I feel like you just got to let go and let God grow. Um, trust the universe. Trust your intuition. Um, trust the downloads that you're getting here from spirit. Um try to release fear because these fears could be giving you a lot of obstacles and challenges and unnecessary obstacles and challenges and burdens here but there is definitely a major change and transformation coming and i feel like whatever the spiritual union that's coming in that's balanced and solid solid and healthy it's going to be for a long term it's for a while forever ever 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 so yeah, I hope that resonated guys and check out my future readings and also like, comment and subscribe. Thank you.